Corner, and we're here to provide you for the news today, Monday, October 12th. Attention fall sports senior athletes, it is time to turn in one baby and one senior photo for the fall sports recognition video. This is only for senior athletes involved in fall sports. We need one baby photo and one recent photo of you by yourself for the recognition video. You can either drop those off to Miss Morris in the library or email them to her at melissa.morris at davis.kyschools.us. The deadline to turn in the photos is Monday, October 26th at 3.15. No late photos will be accepted. Over fall break, the JV Volleyball competed in the Halloween Smash Tournament in Lexington. The team finished the day with a 2-2 two -to -two record. They defeated Bullet East and Bryan Station at, and suffered losses to Covington Latin and Henry Clay. Stat leaders from Saturday include Carly Widmer had 5 aces, 26 kills, 17 assists, and 15 digs. Paige Ferguson had 3 digs. Emmy Haynes had 18 kills and 4 blocks. Katrina Mayer had three aces, one kill, two assists, and 23 digs. Faith Cecil had 13 digs, one kill, and one ace. Mercedes Pierce had five kills, an assist, and a dig. Lauren Floyd had three aces, 23 assists, and eight digs. Congratu congratulations on a great The varsity volleyball team won last night with 25 kills, 13 digs, and 12 assists. Kills? Digs? Assists? What are those? A kill is where you a uh, player hits the ball and the other team cannot dig it up. An assist is when someone passes the ball to someone who gets a point. Um, a dig is where somebody hits the ball at you, but you pass it up, and it's a good pass. <laughs> An ace is when you serve the ball and the other team doesn't get it back over. A block is where you block the ball from coming over to your side. <laughs> That's all, folks. I think our season's gone really well. We've had um, a couple of bumps along the way, but I feel like we're really progressing as the season's gone along, and I hope that means that we're peaking at just the right time when district and region comes along. We are hosting district this year, so come out and support our team and watch some great volleyball. Good morning. We are here, Mr. Cameron and I, we're here to talk about College Application Month for the seniors. All seniors in homeroom tomorrow will receive this really nice folder, and it talks about how you can get ready for your college, what you need to do. So seniors, this is yours. You will be taking it with you. And um, so tomorrow, we also invited Cassie Clark to come in. She's from Kia, Kentucky Higher Education. She will be in here at Apollo High School starting at 1030. So seniors, if you want, if you would like to to meet with this young lady who deals with colleges from all around to talk about your application or maybe even how to get your transcript there, just stop by the guidance office and sign up because what we do is we are taking your name with appointment time so the teachers will know if you're out of class. That starts at 1030 tomorrow and it runs till 3 and we will give you a slip. So I think Mr. Cameron has some exciting news about some of those students who have already applied. Mr. Cameron. Awesome. So. Folks that have already been accepted, John Smith, Western Kentucky, Leah Sargent, Western Kentucky, University of Louisville and Brescia, Sally Martin, University of Kentucky, congrats Sally, uh, Aaron Schnell, University of the Cumberlands, Josh Owens, UofL, 
Emma Clements, University of Louisville, Terry Voiles, Western Kentucky University, Courtney Lindsay, KWC, Becca Grimes, Coastal Carolina, William Keller to Southern Indiana, Evansville, and Kentucky, Devin Lanham, Western Kentucky, Joe Cecil, Murray State, Michael Rasco, WKU, Juan Farmer, NKU, Taylor Roberts, Brescia, and Lexi Etherton, Murray State. Congratulations. Well, we uh, will talk in the auditorium today about all the many, many activities that are going on. But over the next two weeks, we hope to uh, finalize and actually have a plan for next year for almost all of our seniors, as many as possible, whether that be college or having job applications ready to go and nowhere to fill out. And military, but before we leave, we have two students who, these colleges are handing out money daily, and it's, it's so exciting that our students are getting in there and getting these scholarships. To William Keller, my goodness, congratulations. University of Southern Indiana uh, awarded him the David L. Rice Merit Scholarship. He received a $2,000 a year, and that will be renewable. And then Caitlin Head. Caitlin was awarded some money from St. Catherine College, $6,000 a year on her merit, her academics, which is about $24,000. So please, so freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, Please be listening what your academics, your leadership, your involvement can do for you. And seniors, do not forget, please come by the guidance office and sign up to meet with Cassie tomorrow anywhere between 10 and 3 o'clock. And it'll be like a 20-minute, 30-minute interval. So we'll see you later. Thank you, Mr. Cameron. Thanks. So, Miss Jackie, what did you do to win Staff Member of the Month? Well, I'm not sure that I really did anything, but um, my coworkers or faculty and staff voted me or chose me, nominated me, and I feel really honored, I guess, for just being me. So, Miss Delbeck, how do you feel about winning Teacher of the Month? I was genuinely, truly surprised. Um, when Ms. Jarbo asked me to report to ENL, I thought, oh my gosh, what are they going to have me doing today? Um, but it was truly an honor, and I don't know that I'd do anything that separates me from the rest of the staff. I just think I got to be the lucky one to be chosen first. Hello, Ms. Dean. Why did you nominate Ms. Dillback for Teacher of the Month? Because I think she is one of the most caring teachers that we have in the building. She and I have co-taught together for the last two or three years, and she is just so willing to try anything new, um, go out of her comfort zone in order to do what's best for the class and her students. I would like to give a big thank you to the Booster Shot team. This was such an awesome idea and it's a great way for us to boost staff morale and somebody's been working really hard to decorate the door and make us feel really special. So thank you so much. It's truly an honor and I feel very blessed to be a part of the Eagle family. This is the volleyball team, and we have a big game tonight. It's the first round district, and we play Davis County at 7. Catholic and Owensboro play before us at 5.30, but don't come to their game, come to ours. <laughs> so make sure you be there. The students' theme is Hawaiian, so let's go. Go Eagles. That stressful time of year has come for seniors to begin applying for college. Let's ask Mr. Cameron if he has any advice. Be thorough. Make sure that you answer every single question and make sure you get assistance. This is new to a lot of people. So if you need help, come see me, come see Ms. Young. During college application week, starting October 19th, we will have experts in the building to help you. Do your research. Do your research now. Do your research in depth. Know how much it costs. Know that you need about two or three choices, not just one so that when you get to the end of the year, you can say, if I go here, it's gonna be this much. If I go here, it's gonna be this much. And if I go here, and also, what's it gonna be like at the end of the day? Are they gonna give me scholarships to go there so that I can actually afford their cost? Or am I gonna to have to come up with $40,000? Because if I can get the same degree over here and it costs me $20,000 less, that's gonna be huge. 
I'm either going to Murray or Moorhead for college. I'm going to College of Western Kentucky University. Becky Wesleyan for college. U of L. WKU or USI. UK or Western? UK. I'm going to Louisville. Make sure to buckle down and apply to all the schools you're interested in. Good luck. Attention academic team members. Written assessment practice this week will be only mathematics. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Mann. Attention students, picture retake day is scheduled for this Friday, October 23rd. The boys cross country team com com competed in the Franklin Simpson Wilderness Run this past Saturday. The boys had a dominating performance, putting seven athletes in the top ten. Senior Seth Boone led the way for the Eagles finishing first overall. Closely behind Seth were so sophomores Will Scott and Kobe Wiseman in second and third place. Rounding out the top seven for the Eagles were the sophomores Jalen Taylor in sixth place, Oliver Melton in seventh place, Les Mackey in eighth place, and Houston Gore in tenth place. The Eagles' fin final regular season meet of this season is tomorrow afternoon at Yellow Creek Park. Please come out and support the Eagles. The boys and girls bowling team will have practice today at 5.30 at Diamond Lane South. On today's lunch menu in the Mama's Kitchen line, we will be having Salisbury steak or ribs, baked potato, broccoli, squash, roll, fruit choice, and pudding. In the Global Fair line, Alfredo bar or pizza, broccoli, Caesar salad, fruit choice, uh, and pudding. In the sandwich line, a choice of cheeseburger, pork chop, sandwich, chicken, peanut butter and jelly, fries, veggies and dip, baked beans, fruit choice, and pudding. In the sub and salad line, sub bar or chef salad, fruit choice, veggies and dip, and pudding. We'd like to wish the varsity volleyball team good luck as they could play Davis County at 7 this evening. Here at Apollo in the district tournament, we hope to see you in the Hawaiian game tonight supporting the Eagles. We also want to wish the JV football team good luck as they travel to Henderson County at 6 p.m. Have a great day. Welcome back faculty, staff, and students. Hope everyone had a great week last week. Uh, I'm sure you're happy to be here this morning. It may take you a little while to get, uh, get going back to school mode, but we're here and I, I'm looking forward to a great week here. I hope you're looking forward to a great week here. Uh, just so you're aware, and I'm sure you are, we have three weeks left in this term, so a short, short amount of time before this term ends, and then we'll be moving on to our winter term. So. Uh, Three weeks is long enough, uh, I hope, for you if, you haven't, if you haven't done so well up to this point to get things in order for your grades, but you need to keep working hard whether you're a little behind or not. Uh, you don't want to uh, see this term finish on a negative note or on a note heading in the wrong direction academically, so please, please work hard in, your, in the classroom. A uh, couple other things, many of you I'm sure plan on coming tonight, let's be there to support our young ladies as they uh, try to advance in district to the championship, which will be on Wednesday night here at Apollo. So seven o'clock, as you saw our girls uh, here earlier, be there, support them. As always, support them in a positive fashion, okay? Be there to support and encourage, and that'll be the only thing that we do, and then we hope to uh, win on the court tonight. Uh, I'm gonna get the birthdays today. We have some student birthdays. Bailey Barker, happy birthday. Kayla Dow. Dakota Embry, Elizabeth Gurton, Emily Hames, and Alexis Morton. So we wish those students a very happy birthday today. We do have a staff birthday, Mr. Bo Phelan. Happy birthday to him. Looks like he's 49 today, so happy 49th to him. Uh, let's have a great day. I know it's, uh, like I said earlier, maybe a little sluggish this morning, but let's get right back into school mode. Every day is important. Every minute's important. Uh, your teachers will be challenging you today, no doubt, so you need to uh, be working hard in the classroom. And we look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Thank you. Please stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.